Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Esti and I am here to do a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus uh, between the 15th and 30th of October. Please keep in mind this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, please check out your other signs. Um, I would like to do a reading about the soul lessons that we are learning at this time. Um, so if you're interested in uh, what is going to happen with you kind of reading then uh, please um, you know there are many amazing other readers on YouTube but um, I don't believe in using tarot in that way. I, I used to and you can and it's great but I believe that if you go to a tarot reader and they might uh, tell you this is going to happen in your future and you might believe it and then you might create it or attract it um, but that's why I don't want to say what is going to happen in your future because you are creating your future and uh, nothing is done um, I mean time is not linear um, it's just the human brain that experiences time as linear but imagine time like um, th there is one eternal now and it's like growing in each it's expanding in each direction at the same time so there is just a constant expansion and repetition the nature of the universe is fractals so what you put in is going to keep repeating so you gotta change the pattern that's how you change your reality and create your reality but ultimately you create your reality you you literally are created in the mirror image of the creator so you have the same exact powers as the creator um, if you've never heard this before then it might be maybe not easy to believe but it's it's really how reality works um, consciousness works that way so so you know um, yes everything everything that's possible exists right now in this moment and how consciousness works is that it's like like as I said there is one eternal now and everything's expanding from there in each direction and imagine your singular consciousness which is not not singular but maybe I'll tell you about that another time um, so it's like your singular your consciousness your you are an a multi-dimensional immortal spiritual being um having a temporary human experience as aaron doughty says um i listen to him a lot um and how you ex so how creating of reality really works is that it's like your um what you experience is like your consciousness is being pulled through a line of observation and that is going to be your experience like your life experience that which you choose to observe because how this reality works is that particles of reality constantly multi-locate this is proven uh, in quantum physics and quantum mechanics and so the particle constantly multi multi-locates and then it stops in one place when being observed so expectation and observation literally creates your experience of reality so that is how 
like your consciousness, your your experience will be that which you choose to focus on, that that which you choose to look at. And it's like your consciousness is being pulled through this line of observation and that is going to be your experience however so the trick with that though is that there is so much in our cellular me cellular memory and dna memory um and um in our energy energetic grid that we don't know that it's there so it's like sometimes stuff happens and and you say and you say why ha has this happened again how did how why why me <laughs> right and um creating your reality starts with um taking responsibility and starting to look at okay whatever is being reflected back to me by the 3d reality is what's still in my system and maybe I didn't know that it's still in my system so so let me look let me look where is this still how is this still in my system and then you go and do the work to clear it out and that's how you change your focus because your focus is so complex your focus is not only your conscious mind it's way 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 more than that um so when you start remembering to who you really are and when you study yourself really study yourself who you are actually and how you work then you will start to be able to create your reality and even now that you don't you are not conscious of all that is in your system, maybe, because very few of us are, in my experience. It, it takes really, really a lot to be conscious of everything that's going on in your energetic system, in your subconscious mind, basically, in your cellular memory, memory in your DNA memory, in your, you know, other lifetimes memory. Uh, it takes a lot to be aware of all of that, and, and it takes time it takes linear time at least the thing that we experience as linear time it takes time in linear time to become aware of all of that uh, and now i interrupted myself where was i <laughs> um yes yeah, so i was gonna say that um that is why i don't want to tell you what's going to happen in your future what's going to happen in your next two weeks because you are the creator of your own reality literally and if I tell you now what's gonna happen then you might create that and but really you you might you know there might be something else that universe wants you to experience so let's say I say this relationship is going to work out because the cards say so because that's the that's the current um overall energy in the group of pe group of group of people that i'm um feeling into and universe had something else in mind for you and maybe you will just uh, delay your own lesson and delay your own uh fulfillment and greatest happiness by you know creating something else rather than allowing for the flow allowing for the flow to show you what is next for you um because there's that too okay so this is really complex <laughs> what i said so far sorry um anyway so that is why i would just like to look for um the beautiful beautiful um, Libra people um, between the 15th and 30th of October what are the soul lessons that we are currently being presented with and obviously like I said it's not gonna resonate with with every everybody but I'm looking at the most dominant energies so, guides and angels, 
I set the intention that we convey the messages and the guidance that the people who watch this video need to hear the most. Guidance that will serve them in their highest and best good. I set the intention that I am a clear channel to bring through the messages and that your guidance moves through me and through my hands and my mind and the and through the words that I say thank you okay so what are the soul lessons that Libra is learning at this time between the 15th and 30th of October What are the most dominant energies, the most dominant energies, the soul lessons that Libra is learning between the 15th and 30th of October 2019? The soul lessons that Libra is learning between the 15th and 30th of October. Please show us the messages we most need to hear. So we got two for now. And we got the crocodile and the mouse. One second, uh, let me just feel into this so I'm getting the message that um, with the crocodile Libra you are in your emotions there is a watching and waiting watching and waiting and learning in your emotions so they are saying something about not being run by your emotions not being run by our emotions to let emotions be um, there is um there is an upgrade uh in the tribe um about integrating sort of how to deal with emotion but without actually dealing with emotion so like not getting involved not you know not fixing emotions not pushing them away, not wanting to make them go away, not wanting to express them, um, not indulging in them, just simply letting emotions be and just watch, just watch, just let emotions be and just watch. And to, to learn that, Again, it really takes something to separate ourselves from the emotions. We are not our emotions. We are not being run by our emotions. We are not being used by our emotions. But the learning is 
to feel them because that's what they are for we feel emotions but you know the job is not to be so sucked into our emotions but rather to learn to have um, a distance so, sort of a distance not really a distance because we want to feel those emotions we want to allow emotions um, and use emotions as guides use emotions as signals because that's also what they are for and uh, only move when it's time and that's an amazing power like that's that's I'm getting it's dangerous but but not not in a bad not in a bad way dangerous but it's like to have the power to not get completely sucked into emotions but still feeling them and allowing them and using them to to guide us that's um like you don't want to mess with a person like that and for some reason i'm also getting um de decisiveness like yes just moving when it's time and moving when it's necessary and you know that's um to you know to be a force to reckon with that's that's a pretty cool power and a pretty amazing soul lesson it's not like a it's not like a one day soul lesson to learn and that's i'm just thinking it's really really such an amazing thing to be able to do Okay, and then the mouse. So this is as a soul lesson. What I'm hearing is attention to detail, attention to detail. I'm feeling again, watch. Just, just watch. Like, to, um, to not, to not be busy, not be busy and scared and scurry away when, um, when it's time to deal with stuff um, and maybe also to ground to 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 ground this um, the ability that we learn about this new this new ability to not being run by our emotions to not get sucked into our emotions and to be able it's quite libran actually by the way to be able to watch just be like sort of staying cold but libras are not cold at all um libras are actually very emotional um, I believe that Libra, for Libra, it's actually a lifetime learning to stay balanced. Like uh, a lot of people say that Libras are the most balanced. And yes, on the surface, we are really good at um, keeping cool, <laughs> cool as a cucumber. Um, and But underneath, there's always um, 
there is always like a, a, a fight or a war going on for that balance. A lifetime learning of a Libra is to bring balance inside, is to balance out those um, feelings and emotions and, you know, bringing bringing equilibrium and you know because yes we feel we, we literally feel both sides all the time and that is that is quite an inner conflict to see everything to understand everything so a lifetime learning is to yes like we can stay detached but that's i i feel it's only the surface i feel for libras um, underneath we are, um, most of us are very, uh, feeling very deeply and are very caring and to just um, stay and watch. Um, not only on the surface, but like to really ground that because this is the alchemical sign for um, earth. So I'm feeling that to ground that and the mouse is like a, an energy um, in the beginning. So um like a, a big, quite quite beginning stages of learning. Also, the mouse is um, the mouse can be afraid a lot um, because um, the the mouse. Like if you don't think of a house, if you don't think house mice, but you think of the mice that live out in nature, they are food for uh, many other species. So um, they have to be hyper vigilant, unlike the crocodile. The cro I, I think a crocodile is not eaten by anything I mean, apart from, no, a snake couldn't. I don't. I mean, it could cause damage and like larger animals, but I don't think the crocodile is hunted at all. So um, somehow to reconcile these um, these two extremes of. Um, being hyper vigilant and um, being hyper vigilant, and they're 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 telling me about uh, these last. I know that for many Libras, the last nine years, they're saying the number nine, the last nine years, nine months. But I know it's for some it's one year, two years, three years. For some it's five years, six years, and for some it's nine years, ten years. That has been really difficult and really hard, and we've just been learning so much. And so we we became a little bit kind of hyper vigilant, um, always looking out, uh, always looking out, um, and just. So the mouse, when it's unbalanced, can be as personality can be nitpicky, like too much attention to detail and um, like maybe too many red flags. If let's say let's say in a relationship you see too many red flags because you've been hurt so many times already. And so um, these two cards together, I think it's like, it's really like a development from here to here, to just watch. Just watch and wait and be patient and don't judge too quickly. So that's as far as um, the current soul lessons are for Libra. Okay, well, I wasn't even thinking and my hands just went to angel messages. So let's see, let's see what are the angelic messages for Libra at this time regarding the soul lessons. By the way, I pre-shuffled the cards and meditated on Libra's energy. The ocean, they say. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. 
So it's like they're talking about emotional healing. And now uh, it really confirms all that has been said um, about emotional healing, about, um, you know, water is very, very healing emotionally. So if there's things um, that you want to let go, it's, it's really quite a good idea to spend time by the ocean. I don't need to explain that too much. Um, okay, tarot. Now I, now I reach for the tarot. <laughs> and I don't really know why exactly. Uh, it will come. It will come. Why do you want me to? Okay, this is this is this is very many cards, so I'm not gonna take that. Uh, hang on one second. It's uh, the the message the message came, but um, just have to focus a little bit to be able to say it as well. Um, Okay, so, um, why do you want me to pull tarot? Guidance. More guidance. Oh, they're saying as above, so below. We didn't want to create their reality. Okay, well, um, I'm not quite sure why they want me to pull tarot, but um, I'll see what are the messages and then, um, then we'll figure it out. Okay, for Libra, any other messages for Libra? <laughs> yeah, we got the king, we got the Queen of Pentacles. As an energy and guidance. No, they're saying more cards. Okay. They are funny sometimes. Okay. So, what else for Libra? Ooh. Okay, well, um, we got four cards. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Cups, the Two of Coin in Reverse, the Emperor in Reverse, and the Sun. Okay, I'm getting the message to stay happy. To create happiness inside of you, by yourself. You take good care of yourself. You take good care of yourself and those around you. You, you focus on what's right in front of you. You focus on, right, on what's, focus on what's right in front of you. And, and just quit. Just quit going back and forth, which is yes, a Libra. It's a Libra thing <laughs> to go back and forth. Should I? Shouldn't I? This option or that option? Which one is better? Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? Do I want this? Do I want that? Um, I want this, but I don't believe in it. Is this true? Is this false? Is it gonna happen? Is it true? Is it not? Quit doing that. They say you actually quit doing that by focusing on what's right in front of you. 
taking good care of yourself and those around you be that you know your family so what this reminds me of is um that i i i was told recently um so i'm i'm dealing with um I am on a twin flame journey and um, what really made a big difference to me in the journey is when I got this message recently to to love love those that are that are around me and um, you know that's to to give time to those that that are there to give time to um, to open my heart to and I'm saying I'm saying okay the, the, the message is to, to open our hearts to give love and give our time and attention to those that are there and um, so so it's that it's that it, it, is that your dad or is that your mom or is that your sister your cousin your family the um, the homeless in your community or um, like uh, people in your community that need your support um, or in my case um, it's my flatmates mm, the, the flatmates that I see most of the time because uh, my family is back in my home country I live in another country so um, And to, yes, to, to be there for those that are there. Um, to, like, you know, quit being selfish and quit deciding from our egos who we want to give our love and time and energy to. And just be willing to accept the flow. And that will have us doubt ourselves or others or the world. Um, then the Emperor in reverse. And I'm feeling this that I said is going to really um, bring happiness. Like, um, and just, and just making ourselves happy, making ourselves happy, caring about ourselves, taking good care of ourselves. This is like, to me, this is like really, really a, uh, an energy of uh, feminine values. Um, and the emperor in reverse. Sorry, let me just let me just feel into this one second. Oh, they are saying um, this is like the last. This is the last few miles before we fully integrate our inner masculine. So it's like really, really not long to go to integrate our inner masculine whether you are um, a female or a male Libra watching this um, that might be part of this um, uh, the soul lessons that we are learning and to be able to just watch and be patient and you know be happy and I'm getting also to look at the bigger picture um it's the last run it's the last few miles before we we get this um illumination i'm getting um father son you know father son or god or heavenly father and being in our authenticity and uh, you know moving forward and being free um 
this is what I said that's that's what it takes and also to integrate the divine masculine so I I would be um, going into um, I would clarify what does it take to what's this last run to integrate the divine masculine but I'm kind of running out of time um, might do an extended and then the link will be there uh, I don't know because this is the first time I'm doing this so <laughs> we'll see if you see a link um, then uh, there will be an extension I think it would be good to do an extension but I don't have anything set up I didn't expect this to happen <laughs> okay um, anyway thank you so much for watching and visiting my channel um, if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe um, see you soon thanks I hope to all our relations bye